Yo, what's up, guys? We are back with House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 2, Rhaenyra the Cruel. Uh, I do say episode, not episode, because I'm from the South. Millions of people say it that way. Really sorry, I get a lot of comments about it. That's besides the point, man. We are back with this awesome scheming show. If you guys have been following along, following along this is a super schemy show that's super heavy on the politics. And that's some of what made Game of Thrones great to me. So I'm really excited about that aspect of it. And we are finally caught up live with you guys, man. So what's up? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens when Aegon finds out what happened to his son. He's going to be like, right. right. And it's just going to be shocking because uh, Damon's the reason behind it. So Damon ain't playing. We know that. Damon and, ain't playing. And I'm ready to see where this goes from here. Damon's a weird character, man, because I try to like him. You guys were saying he was awesome. <laughs> from the very beginning of the series, I thought he was kind of creepy. Well, you've been he awesome. he's a rock star. So we're right. like over here, like thinking he's going to, you know, play some... <laughs> play some metal or something i just thought that it was a very like i understand that he has the gold cloaks and they're loyal and then all that stuff and there's people that's loyal to him but man why send another man to commit such a heinous act on your behalf knowing right. that all the unforeseen variables that could go wrong that just seemed kind of weird to me and but, it, it was weird also that he killed the heir that was shocking because that is gonna mean a whole lot like amen's one thing but the heir to Aegon succession is a huge deal and also he was he was named Jaehaerys so I feel like the peace is killed because Jaehaerys was the most peaceful Targaryen king right that's a that's what I think is going to happen and let's see what Aegon does all right guys like comment subscribe hit us up on Patreon if you want the full uncut reaction you ready yeah let's go <laughs> let's go in the comments break this down what's up with this is this some stuff we should know? I mean, it looks like a... A weirwood tree? It looks like the Targaryen story, does it not? There's a bunch of Targaryens. I can't read that, though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a little tough. Hey, that has some symbols on it. I know. Yeah, that looks like a start, for sure. So, Torin. That's Torin. That's someone who died on the throne, it looks like. He's not. So, who's before Jaehaerys? Uh, the Macking? Or the Cruel? Megor? Megor the Maybe. Cruel, yeah. I kind of know their family tree better than I know my own, which is... Oops. Well, they didn't make TV shows like yours. <laughs> My great great granddaddy and his great great granddaddy. <laughs> they drank that beer and cut that grass. That's what they did. That's what we changed, right? Nope. <gasps> right where we left off. Oh, they're gathering everyone up? Because you should, right? Right. You got to get everyone in a central location. Anyone not in that location is probably guilty. Oh, they got dogs. Oh, they got some Ramsey dogs on there. So he's destroying old uh old Valyria, huh? Yeah. He said bump this. His dad's life's work right there. Put all of his effort, thoughts, and resources into that. This music though, he did he notice someone stole the coins? Okay. What was that? <laughs> a star? A seven point of star? The search progresses. Oh, she's got that necklace on. The villain will be found. We mustn't be shaken by this. This act. Well, that's her grandkids. The child. I never thought of that. The child is dead. His pain is ended. But what have you done to, to, to Micah? <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, the mom, her daughter. And they will pay for this. She was not looking for his solace, was she? Whosever hand did this or caused it to be done. And what if the hand that's done it is not who must be blamed? The gods punish us. They punish me. Oh. <laughs> for what sin? We will mourn as we must, but some good may yet come of this. And where were the members of this council while the murderer threatened their king? Were you also threatened, your grace? I could have been! <laughs> my son is my legacy! My son is heir to the Iron Throne! And where were you? The Lord Commander of my King's Guard. Right, right. that's a good question. Night, you don't want to know. A bed. A bed! Instead of safeguarding the sanctity of my family. This is not the time for blind accusations, Your Grace. We'll know who did this soon enough. Who did this? Who did... What? Is there any question who did this? The smug of Dragonstone. He sounds there like she Cersei. sits across the bay on her rock laughing at me. She's Double. fucking laughing at me! I don't think she's gonna be laughing. She doesn't know. <clears throat> you wished her life to be spared. If I may, Your Grace. 
the guard is the man we apprehended, is known to us. He's a gold cloak, noted for his brutal nature. We caught him, fleeing the gate of the gods, with the child's head in a sack. I'll kill him myself. We do well to get what information we can from the blackguard. I trust in the mastery of your trade, Lord Laris. No, always studying, always protocol. We know our enemy! A king may have more than one enemy, Your Grace. We would do well to ascertain if this is your sister's hand, or if there is a serpent nestled closer to our bosoms. I suppose you're right, Ironrod. It could be any one of you in this room. Paranoia. Ooh. That's what happened to Ares, right? King Ares? It'd be hard not to be paranoid. I wouldn't trust anyone. Right, especially when your kid just got... The only person I trust is Otto for some reason. <laughs> I'd have been wrong. In one sense, we must determine what happened, and if we and the Keep are still in peril, in another sense, of course. You mean to blame Rhaenyra? Tell the realm she has done this. I'll have the realm told nothing. We were assaulted within our own walls, within our own beds. I will not be seen as weak. You're already seen as weak, Aegon. Ooh. <laughs> ah! A hasty coronation, a dragon escaping the pit. The people see an omen. They whisper in the streets. They say perhaps Rhaenyra should be queen. And so you would name her monster, slayer of infants. I would do more than that. A funeral progress. Let them see the child. Let them look upon the works of this pretender to the throne. To invite the whole town. Let them see it with their own eyes. Exploit it, basically. Oh, to make the I war. Oh. No, I will not have my little son's body dragged through the street like a dead dog. Not dragged, honored! Escorted to the dragon pit to be burned as a Targaryen prince. Let no one say I do not grieve. Jaehaerys was my grandson. I loved him. I will not have him die in vain. Those who declared for Rhaenyra, will they still support her when they hear of her depravity? Or will they rather not renounce her? That's, That's strategic. true, though. I mean, That's you have to That's true, strategic. though. I mean, That's you have to A thousand nights in battle. That's what I've been sitting there. I've been sitting there trying to explain why, in a way, he's kind of right. <laughs> he's kind of right, but dang, is that shicey. That's your grandkid, you man. Your war. You can't sit there and get mad at Otto and be like, how disgusting. Dude, they literally sent someone into your home. I I totally Slaughtered agree with that, but don't exploit it. Don't make it worse than it but is. They're gonna, these people, this is going to be traumatic I for know. Aegon. And, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it's moral or just or any of that, but what I'm saying is they're at war. There's nothing, that's why you just don't go to war. I totally like, get that. when you go to yeah, war, I, like you have to put all that aside. You got to win. And you I, win get, or you die. I get it. I get it. I get it. So in a you way, know, like, I, get it, I get it. I get it. He's like, dude, if they're going to do things, like if we do something to them and one of their kids get hurt, you think they're not about to go sit there and call us the baby but slayer? I th the issue is, though, he's saying it's Rhaenyra. He's telling everyone, make sure they know it's Rhaenyra. He said, nah, this was up under my grasp. I'm not about to do that. That's stupid. Right, but she's their leader over there. Like if... Well, he doesn't... He just, he isn't convinced it's someone on the blacks yet. He thinks it's someone in his camp. Oh, yeah, no, he's paranoid. Yeah, yeah he has no idea. But luckily for me, I get to see outside yeah. of this, the time scope. So but I, I'm, just I just saying, I'm just saying from Aegon's point of view, I... I was just. I know Otto's yeah. terrible, but I mean, dude, they're at war, and I, I'm all for Team Black. But like, in a sense, you got to use all an available. innocent child. You just that is so terrible. Right. Jaehaerys will do more for us now than a thousand knights in battle. Gonna martyr him. You will have your war, Your Grace, but if you wait a short time, you may yet double your strength. Pulling back the impulses. Mother. He's basically saying, let's not lose the war because we're emotional. Right. The hand sets on a difficult path, my darling, but it, it might be the right one. Let the silent sisters ready the prince for his final journey. And riding behind him, his mother, the queen, and with her, the queen dowager. No, I do not wish to be a spectacle. The realm must see the sorrow of the crown. That's what the government does to us. They show us what they want to show us to get us emotional. I think you'll all agree the king himself must be spared. But that was just like generationally, like not caring about your feelings. <laughs> Did you oh, yeah. just see that? It was two different people, like the grandfather and the mom, not caring about kids' feelings. And Otto has to do everything he can to keep the eye years. on the prize because he sort of started all this. We've been asked to ride on a wagon behind his body. I don't want to. Neither do I. But when a thing like this happens, a blow to the king is a blow to the realm. When the people share our grief, they draw closer to us. But I don't want them closer. Sometimes we have to pretend. Why? We are representatives of the throne. We have a duty. Because you better play along or they're going to drag you out that castle. Helena, what you saw last night when you came to my room. This is for my boy. She don't even want to talk about that. Optics are more important than ever, though, because when the common people's kid dies, they don't go out there and start grieving for them. Right. So you better not sit there and withdraw from these people in your time of need. Right. Did you see her hold an elephant, though? Everything she does, I'm remembering. <laughs> Yeah.
Is that him? Was that the rat guy or the guy that was in the night scar? I mean, the gold cloak. I was, I was hired by Damon yeah, Targaryen. Him. He paid us half now, half when the job is done. Who is us? A, a rat catcher employed by the household. I don't know his right name. Behold the work of Rhaenyra Targaryen. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. But I mean, to be fair, like, if I go out and do something terrible, in a sense, since you're with me, you sort of get the blame too, right? Yeah. I get Renera didn't know. Right, it's the propaganda, you yeah, know? Yeah. They have, they kind of have to say it's her. Yeah, She's absolutely. head of that family. You gonna hurt me? No, but I cannot vouch for his grace. Oh, the king's coming in. That's his child, though, you know? I can imagine what he's about to do. <laughs> Man, I would have started with the fingertips. Like, I don't understand. Never go for the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. In the Dark Knight. Whoa. It looks like leaves or something. Uh-oh. Oh, they're getting closer to her. You telling me with two horses and all those dudes they can't get the tire out of a hole? A curse of Rhaenyra, the monstrous! Oh my gosh. It is yet unclear how the keep itself was breached. The boy's head was severed from his body. Thousands witnessed the procession. And they are accusing me of having a hand in this. There have been messages sent to that effect throughout the realm. We must send our own messages, denying this vile allegation. I would do yeah, so I'd blame once. the king for it. I'd say I'm he did it sure to blame they me. Be received in good faith. And we must double our guard here and in Driftmark. There will be swift retribution in one form or another. I have seen to it, Your Grace. Let me fly out on Vermax. Rhaenys is needed in the gullet and I can watch for movements from King's Landing. No. You're the air bro, too. <laughs> At a time when we most need loyalty to our cause. <laughs> but it's a lie. Having lost my own son. You better speak up, Damon. I would inflict such a thing. On Helena, of all people. That's her innocent. sister. The death of Prince Lucerus was a shock. And an insult. A mother so aggrieved might naturally seek relief and retribution are you suggesting sir alfred that my grief drove me to order the decapitation of a child i merely thought perhaps an action taken in haste mind yourself she's like that was me who killed the innocents not not her mm -hmm. well it's not helping your cause having renice in there is yeah. her dress though i know it's so nice oh did you send assassins to murder children in their beds i sent the queen's vengeance for her son what did you tell this vengeance what did you say to him Damon, that a boy lies dead and I am accused of killing Lissaria it. Lissaria provided me with names and a subterfuge. I was clear in my instructions. Aemond, the brother of Aegon the Usurper. I cannot be responsible cannot for Cannot be mistake. responsible. You're pretty responsible. He would make if a terrible leader. Aemond was not to be found. What were your instructions then? <sighs> they did not concern in any way that of a little child. You said that it was your aim to spill Hightower blood. If not Aemond, then anyone would do. No. You have wounded me. Weakened my claim to the throne, my ability to raise an army, my standing among my own council. I said, no. I don't believe you. They're so logical in their argument, though. Yeah. I feel like most of the time it would not be that easy. So we come to it at long last. I cannot trust you, Damon. I've never trusted you wholly. <laughs> Much though I wished to, willed myself to. But now I have seen that your heart belongs only to you. And when I was a child, I took this as a challenge. But I'm older now. I have challenges enough. I have served you faithfully. Have you? Or have you used me as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance? Oh. He said, stop telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> when Sir Eric brought you the crown, did I myself not place it upon your brow? Yes, but before that... You sought to lead a council of war while I labored alone in my bedchamber. And afterward, when I thought it meet to consider the terms a folly, of both a folly before us. To give up my brother's throne to the traitorous lies of Otto My Hightower. throne! Damon! Mine! I think you used my words as an excuse to take your own revenge. To indulge the darkness you keep sheathed within you like a blade. You think me some kind of monster. Oh, I don't know what to think of you. I don't know what you are. Or who it think is, yourself I a literary <laughs> man. <laughs> Am I not on my way even now to Harrenhal to raise an army <laughs> in your name, Rhaenyra? Yours! Do you accept me as your queen and ruler? Or do you cling even now to what you think you lost? Ooh. What I think I lost. You did not lose it. You gave it away. 
Because you thought ever and only of your own glory, and not of my father in his grief. Your father who was needed a coward you. who knew I was the stronger son, that I was the leader of men, and he was afraid to be seen in my shadow. Is that what you understand of your own brother? Oh, you know him better than I do. He was raised at his side. Do you believe he made you heir because of your great wisdom, because of your virtue? Or did he merely use you as a tool to put me in my place because he was afraid of me? Because he knew your legacy, unlike mine, would never outshine his own. He was not afraid of you, Damon! He could not trust trust you any more than I can trust you. He's so you. arrogant. <laughs> you sought greatness but shrank from spilling blood to achieve it and I see you will suffer the same fate. You struck down a child. Just say you did it. It was a mistake. A stupid mistake. You're pathetic. Damn, that was some good acting. I know. Incredible. Damon was like, shh. <laughs> what good miss. <laughs> good job, Rhaenyra. So, babe, you notice the women in the show are really, they're really preaching like counsel and peace and the men just are they just want to yeah. go stab something. They just want oh fire God, and blood. Oh my God, they want baby. fire and blood, boy. This fella right here, I don't know his name, but he can act his ass off, man. Father. Oh, and he's just going to walk by his daughter? He's always treated her like that. Like, for what? Oh my God. You wish to see me, your grace? She can too, though. Act. When morning comes, take Moondancer and keep a watch on King's Landing. I must know which course they take next. I will be vigilant. I depend on you, Bela. Stay high and keep your distance. You can afford no further mistakes. My father, he must follow his own path. So Damon's back to being Damon. Yeah, it looks like he's back to that pull you out the cave type thing. Oh, with the... He hopping on his, uh... You already his know. His little serpent dragon over here with the long neck. You already know. That dragon could fly around with his head sticking out the clouds looking crazy. Okay, the armor. The armor. That is fire. Where's he going? I don't know, bro. You better not be going over to uh, start no wars right now. What if he goes straight to King's Landing? That's what I'm saying. He can't do that. He's outnumbered. Yeah, this isn't the crab eater. Maybe right that's that two dragons to one. Oh, I don't know. Did the dragon have a long neck? They all seem to have long necks no. in the emblems. <laughs> not even like a hug? Elephant. You please, my lord. I'm gonna start calling him Ryobi. Him, Chris and Cole. Why? Because he's a tool? Because he's a drill. Uh oh. He just wants to screw everything. Aww. Spending some extra time with him because they're probably coming for him. Oh, yeah. He said, Ooh, I like this one. Some interstellar stuff. What's the dust supposed to represent? Chaos, uncontrolled variables, something? All this lady does is take a bath. <laughs> Hopefully she bathes daily. Have you told anyone? What do you take me for? One who seeks absolution. There is none for what I've done. Okay, every time he does that, he screws up, don't he? <laughs> you should go join the Unsullied. He used to care for like one episode. Not Kristen, can you come unzip me? <laughs> I can't reach it. She's just trying to escape it all. It's too much. She's, She's trying to be a little mermaid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to clean her eyeballs, I guess. She got booty water in her eyes. <laughs> like, what? Why are you standing over him like that? <laughs> what is this? It's a reminder of yesterday, I think. The procession was muddy. I'll replace it, Hans. Do it now. Oh, his uniform wasn't long. clean enough? No, I'd not eaten. If I could you just You defy my authority, Sir Arik. I do not. The white cloak is a symbol of our purity, our fidelity. King's guard are a sacred trust. Who you so easily sully our ancient honor? Projecting over here, jeez. <laughs> you done soiled every bit of honor, he's Kristen. Like, he's like, who you been screwing, Kristen? <laughs> I've heard, my lord. I'll remedy the error. That's all you can ask for. That's very mature of you. What's his name, Eric? Where were you when Jaehaerys was murdered? Where were you? With King Aegon. And you were not in the private quarters where you might have prevented the crime. His Grace wished to entertain his companions in the throne room. But if you had thought to go upstairs, where were you? Well, oh, Commander, and why has Helena the Queen been granted no small protector? Surely once she ascended, she should have... Oh, brother! He's a thief and a traitor to the crown. <laughs> they said, nope, gotta go. You well know how it pays me. How are we to know that you do not secretly share his sense? I denounced him before the King. We were one soul in two bodies, yes. If I'd shared his sentiments, I would have fled with him. First, your brother betrays us, and then the young prince is murdered. 
on your watch. You are mad, sir. Mad? You cannot think what that I, I did What I think this. has no relevance! You have brought disgrace upon our ranks, and now you must restore it. How am I to do that? He was like just on lunch break. I think I hate Kristen Cole even more, which is crazy. Yeah, that man didn't even get to eat. You will go to Dragonstone and strike down Rhaenyra in her own halls. The way she sought to do with Aemond, we will pay the princess back in her own bloody coin. Alone? Does your courage fail you, Sir Arag? It's not Wait. much of courage. Who gave him the order the to do this? against all enemies, now especially. Him, Kristen Cole. <laughs> How would I enter? Your twin serves there at the pleasure of the so-called queen. They will mistake you for him if you play the part. We are sworn to serve forthrightly. Put down the pretender and you will end a war before it begins. He wants her to go be Arya. He wants him to go be Arya. Wear your brother's face. Be an assassin. If they see the two of us. You must not let that happen. You would send me to my death. Or to triumph and glory. Screw you, Kristen Cole. You go do it. Now will you go? No, because they'll just know it's Kristen Cole. <laughs> or must I question your loyalty to the king? As you command. My lord. So basically he has to kill his brother because he said he, he they can't see him together. That's jacked up. He's gonna go there and not up. come back. That's what I do. <laughs> I wasn't hungry. Right. Me either. I don't think anyone was really. Do you know where he went? Harren Hall, I would think. Sometimes I think I hate him. Nice shot. It's hard with fathers. What do you remember of my uncle? He taught us to catch fish and sing sailor's shanties. <laughs> he had a weakness for cake. And Sir Harwin Strong? He was gentle and fierce. I think you'd have made for they a good dad. Him break bones. <laughs> he loved us, I think. I miss Luke. Who's this? I thought it was Helena, but I don't think it is anymore. <laughs> What in the? Damon Some milk of the poppy? I didn't realize he's so skinny. You were with me. In truth, I'm proud that he considers me such a foe and that he seeks to murder me in my bed. He's afraid of me. As well he should be. The boy is grown into a man. Mm. Mm. Not here. He just wants to be snuggled? Like in Game of Thrones, there was that one guy who wanted to be snuggled. I he paid for it. I business with Luke. Didn't they kill him? I lost my temper that day. I am sorry for it. Damn, him. that show was crazy. <laughs> they used to tease me, you know, because I was different. I would remind you only that when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer. Ooh, yeah, that's facts right there. That's kind of what I was saying. Them dudes are small tripping. Like me. The small folk like her. And Rhaenyra when she loses her temper. Or Renice. How is she? <laughs> Much the same. The markets have been running low since the blockade. Surely the city cannot yet be short of food. I think not, but people are afraid. Those with means are hoarding everything they can. I walked two hours today to find a chicken for the pot and paid three times as much as I should have. More times. He was in the last episode, this, this guy. The selfishness of people. I can't blame anyone for doing what I myself would do if I could. I don't think you let children go hungry while you filled your own cellars. Lucky we don't have enough coin to find out. Right, you don't know what you're going to do. The king has promised us some relief. Did he say when? I'm afraid, Hugh. <laughs> Just a little outsider's perspective. That was interesting. I see all your great adventures have done nothing for your looks. Well met, brother. After many months away. New character, right? Well, we met that guy, but I don't remember. Yeah, well, not this guy right here, though. Yeah. I don't remember his name, though. I missed you. You're in luck. In more ways than one, I hear Lord Corliss himself commended you for your service to him. Will you sail with him? When his ship has been repaired, I am one of a dozen shipwrights now called from Hull to attend with all speed to your fleet. Oh, yeah. He made no offer. I remember now. He had a broken down ship. I'd rather mm -hmm. he didn't, truth be told. Do not be foolish, Alan. That's the name. Alan with a to Y. To serve with a sea snake is to make your fortune. Had I such a chance, I would leap at it. That's because you haven't seen what I've seen. There is a war brewing, Adam. A real one. Another opportunity to distinguish yourself. Remind him of your worth. Oh, I need no favors. But brother, he owes you. He owes us. Does the stew have carrots in it? <laughs> Subject change. Right. That would have worked on me, though. Yeah, yeah it would have. Because you like sons. a rabbit. <laughs> Damon flies when we most need his hand at the oar. You hear him talking about sure like ships. Well with him. Where he goes, he wishes to be his own master. But he is not the king. Neither am I. 
but I manage. I too have felt the crown pass over me. It is a hard thing to accept. And now Viserys is dead and all claims are in doubt. You don't think Damon will challenge her? Not as such. But neither can he allow her to command him. Pity. I have an occasion found that to be quite enjoyable. Well, let us take him at his word. If he can take Harren Hall, all may well be forgiven. In the meantime, I am here. And Melis. We will not let the Queen falter. Wait, is she supposed to be on watch, but she's doing that? Is she supposed to be on watch, but she's doing that? Who's supposed to be on watch? Renice. Because she just bed? brought up her, her dragon. Was well, her dragon not on watch, though? Oh, yeah, true. I think her dragon can stand the post. They're smart. The Lady Massaria, Your Grace. She's going to be like, we must take what is ours. It is not easy for us. You're aware of yesterday's events in King's Landing. Tell me what part you played in their unfolding. I had nothing to do with it. I know you are entwined with the usurpers, that you aided them in denying me my birthright. I took profit from an inevitability. I regret it now. That's one way to put it, right? Well, at least she admits it. Yeah. I gave Damon two names. That is the extent of it. And I did not wish to do that much. He said it was the price of my freedom. Dang, she didn't know that, huh? Right. <laughs> Does he say otherwise? He's gone. For how long? A week. Or well, forever, I do not know. He does do that. Doesn't he? Man, you better be quiet, lady. You remember me now. At the bridge. He said he would marry you. He she said you carried his child. Time. And everyone found the jest funny. Now it seems he's done it again, made a promise, and then slipped away. You trade in the secrets of the Red Keep. Your web runs unseen through King's Landing. And now it would not serve me to set you free. At best, I lose an asset to my cause. No interest in betraying you, Your Grace. Well, not yet. So you say. <laughs> right. Until the profit motive changes. Maybe she'll work for her. Is that what you think? Well. She'll just do, she'll just go whichever direction the wind blows. She said it herself. Restore, She's just trying to profit off inevitabilities. I toiled in service. I stole. I sold my own body for coin or bread. And I listened. I collected confidences. I made myself valuable to powerful men. Bit by bit, I earned my living. A house, a household, a home. Then they set it all aflame. Mm. Who did? The high towers, I can only assume. The hand did not like it when I showed my teeth, but I thank him for it. For too long, I made it my aim to be of consequence. But now, I see that was the wish of a child. Damon, Otto Hightower, makes no difference. They will never accept me. How did you get that scar? Oh, around her neck. That conversation went exactly kind of like I thought it would. <laughs> I guess it But this is what I don't understand, babe. What does she have to offer? What's making her so important? She just has, she's like, she basically has a bunch of little birds and stuff. I think she just like she, knows the ins and outs of like everything that's happening in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's like been, a valuable asset, yeah. Because she started at the bottom, so she knows King's Landing she, all the way from she's the like bottom a Varys, to the top. She's like a Varys slash Laris, but a, a more like in the know of it. And so Rhaenyra thinks she would be an asset because she would help her gain just a lot of like street knowledge and stuff. I think I think that, but also the connections, because obviously she had the connection to get into the castle. Yeah, that's true. That's right. True. I mean, that's just what I'm predicting, but I'm also predicting that she's, Rhaenyra kind of told her like, well, she kind of told Rhaenyra, hey, I, I've been listening to these guys and they've treated me like nothing but a, you know what he, and she, she's kind of hoping that Rhaenyra will give her a chance, maybe. Mm. Or she just wants to be free. I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's like really hard work, but it looks kind of peaceful. I know. It looks chill. The crab. Oh. A dragon. Did it look like someone was riding it? Who's, yeah, I was about to say, but whose dragon is that? We have seen that one before, but I don't. Dang, so that man's on the bottom just looking up to a dragon like that. I'd be scared it's about to come eat me. Me too. Might would have tried to hide in that puddle. Oh. They're like messing with these people's emotions, aren't they? They don't seem to really. I mean, they're sending a message if you're they're in the like, city. Rat catchers. All the rat catchers. Catchers. The dog. What they do? They didn't do anything. Wrong place, wrong time. Well. He didn't even care that he got kicked. He just won't miss his owner. What have you done? The rat catchers! I had them hanged. 
The maggot who took my son confessed to an accomplice. He could not say for certain which man it was, sir. Idiot! Beware how you speak to your oh, king, wow. my lord. The king is my grandson, and my grandson is a fool. He's worse than a fool. He's murdered innocent men. And one guilty one. And hang them from the walls of the city for all to see. Plot against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred They times. are fathers and brothers and sons, and their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name. Right, y'all was up. Now y'all back to even. I know. Isn't that crazy how that just happened? Now they're going to start to realize we're all complicit in this game we all gonna die but yeah I mean, with your child's blood we bought their approval with your mother's tears we made a bitter sacrifice against the deprivations to come and you throw it away after all i've done for you thoughtless feckless wow self-indulgent at least i did something i have not answered injury to the crown with what wailing Carrying favor with the fishwives, I will not be thought weak. Even now, news of Rhaenyra's monstrous crime spreads through the realm. The great houses falter. They cannot but come to our side. I wish to spill blood, not ink. We must act. Sir Criston Cole has acted. Yeah, you damn right he did. He acts a lot. And what has Sir Criston Cole done? He has sent Sir Arik to slay Rhaenyra. <laughs> That's why I was saying, like, who gave the order? I was going to be pissed. He outranked some rank. He's pretending to be his own twin. Brilliant. He's about to throw oh, I know. He was like, oh. <laughs> God's help us all. <laughs> and you acceded to this, this prank without consulting me or the council. Instead of judgment, you display impetuousness and diminish us in the eyes of our enemy. Ill-considered, trifling. Okay, hold on one second, though. Look. At, at first, when I heard that plan, like real time, I was sitting there listening to Chris and Cole tell that guy that plan. And I was like, eh, maybe that could work, but like a long shot, right? Yeah, it sounded kind of silly, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad someone it else sounded like sounded childish <laughs> in a way. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad someone else, but like it's funny how Chris and Cole pitched at Aegon and Aegon goes, brilliant, because it's a childish plan. Right. So, okay. Sorry, I just needed to point that out because at first I was like, yeah, maybe that's a good Otto's idea. thinking like. Like Otto's thinking everything, basically everything in the world is basically perception. It's right. It's all about perception. And Otto understands that. And he understands it's all about optics and perception. And he's playing chess, not checkers. And these idiots over there are just like, just sneak in, dude. Slaughter your brother and <laughs> hey, kill the Hey, you queen. know how last season I said that Otto has been the hand for three kings and he's kept the peace, right? It's been mostly because of Otto, I'm realizing. In a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, Otto's, Otto's thinking more in terms of generationally, while these people are thinking like, Dude, we need action right, right. now. Yeah, that, I, I don't like Otto's character, but I do feel like in a sense he gets a bad rap. I feel like he sent his daughter to go be with Viserys, and people made their minds up. And he sucks, but dude, everyone does in the show. But he did it so point. so that she could have kids to for the like to sign the realm. Well, he understands, dude. If I don't get if I don't get in there, then. You know, like, who am I going to trust other than myself to make sure these idiots don't go to war and kill us all? Right. You know, like, I, I don't know. It's complex, but interesting. Very complex. Considered trifling. Mm. You never think of your father. His forbearance, his judiciousness, his, his dignity. Fuck dignity. I want revenge. My father is dead. He's very smart. And we are the poorer for it. Mm. Damn. He's like, it was so much easier to work for Viserys. <laughs> so much. He was like, he listens to way too much Iron Maiden, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. It's his right son, you know? You. His son just died. I get it. He made me king. <laughs> Is that what you think? Yeah, he knows better. Remove your badge, Sir Otto. What? Pushed a little too far. You are my father's hand, not mine. Oh. Take it off. He said that junk was passed down. You New cabinet. <laughs> I have that, and I find it stimulating. Uh oh, though, you know? That's. If this really happens, that's scary. Insolent pup. You think yourself clever, but without a strong hand at your side to guide. Give it to Cole. Hell no! Really? You're great. He's gonna be in your bed if you give him that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, jeez. In this hour, you have proven yourself of more worth than a hundred old men. My new hand will be a steel fist. You will regret this. Oof. <laughs> Give Ooh. it to him. Damn. 
Boy, I'm glad we are live, baby. I know. Remember when we said Otto has like a hundred of them? What if he just threw all hundred? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just like, all right. You are dismissed. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, dick. <laughs> I just got demoted and dismissed. Get out of here. That was so... I do. I know. <laughs> And I sense that there is danger in you yet. But I will keep the word of my house if you say that it was given. Eric's you may go. Know. Your grace. There is a Valarian ship in the harbor, bound for Mir by way of Pentos. I will see that you are given passage. She ain't gonna go. I'm not so unworldly as to let you fly free. I am... Thank you. Wow. Sir Eric, Masaria will be leaving us. Let her collect her things, then have someone take her down and secure her berth on the Corwin. Your grace. Remember what happened when Shay tried to dip? Right. She ended up in the hour of the hand or whatever. That's so incredible, man. Like, I love this place. This is where I want to go on vacation. Dragonstone. Someone told us where that was, and I'm sorry I forgot already. But tell us again. <laughs> Actually, every single person who watches this video tell us. <laughs> That'll help. Spell it out in letters if you want. Let's just make sure we put these videos on before we go to sleep and let the playlist run. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bag it up, bag it up. All right, pause it for one second because that, because look, hold look, look, look. Hold your horses. Hold your dragons. Oh, she saw Eric. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Sorry, she, I'm slow. So he's making his way. Because <gasps> she knows it wasn't him because she was just in there with him. Are you going to keep walking or are you going to go? What's her choice? Uh, holla at a queen. What you going to do? A moment. Sir Eric. I thought you were within. Sorry, lack of vigilance. The enemy is about. Good sir. <laughs> Wait a minute, be stupid. So it worked. I'm a little annoyed that it's working so far. It's so crazy how an enemy is just walking around like that. Just infiltrating. Sharing the face of one of your allies. He said, it smells like pennies. He said, <laughs> <"Sassy."> <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that because the armor. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> the copper armor. <laughs> Uh-oh. Please try and lay down your grace. Thank you, Linda. Sir Eric. It's been a strange day. I'm restless. I will stand this evening's duty. <laughs> what a damn good guy. He's like, that's my brother right there. Appreciate you. This iron weighs 68 pounds. You must sleep tonight, your grace. Let me ask the maester for a draft. Perhaps that would be best. Thank you, Alinda. Oh, this no. This is so crazy, bro. So, Eric. <laughs> Believe me. I had no choice. I don't understand. Brother! <gasps> do not do this. I beg you, you are the one who betrayed us, Eric. This is about to get complicated. She needs to get out. I know, someone put on your helmet so we can tell the difference. Run, Elijah! Run and find the Lord! Oh my god. Man, y'all are brainwashed. Sitting there killing your brother over this. Salaran! Me, your grace! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Which? Which is Eric? I know that's something that I don't really know what's going on. We were born together. You partied us! That one? I still love you, brother. They don't know which one's the right one. That's why they can't interfere. I'll right. be asking them. Did someone just stab yeah. everyone? Oh man. Killed his own brother. Like, that's crazy. I don't even know which one that is. Your grace. Oh no. That was A. Right. Eric. Eric. Forgive me. No. 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 Mm. <clears throat> wow. It is ignorance and vanity 
You know as well as I do that Aegon must be kept in check, as does Sir Criston, the two of them together. <laughs> oh, this shows. But his devotion cannot be questioned if it does come to war. He's ensured it. He's young and unschooled. His faith is in steel and bone. He has not the long view. Right. None of them do. They wish now not for the good of the realm, but for the petty satisfaction of vengeance. What if he's Team Black now? Who was his daughter? It's the death of the child that has unstrung him. So, guys, I'm so sorry. I know we paused a lot, but I just want to say the vibe I'm getting is Otto and and Allison are about to basically re remend their relationship because they realize that both of their personal ambitions sort of in line, but they have a lot of uncontrolled variables and they're gonna have to really team up now so i think they're gonna need each other more than ever yeah and it might be best for him to do that without being the hand because uh you know i don't think Aegon's gonna listen to him just in spite (laughs) well at this point you know you got your family in like you wanted to do so what point is it to you to be hand right unless you just want the power that's not the maybe he does none of them do Aegon is still malleable it's the death of the child that has unstrung him that's what you think I can't stay here. Exiled from the council. Witness to the blundering of our plans, I'll return to Old Town. The High Towers still have strength, and you have a son there who'll take more kindly to instruction. Daron may yet help us in weeks to come. Daron? Go rather to High Garden. The Tyrells must be taken in hand. Their bannermen are wavering. While you're gone, I'll speak sense to him. His blood will cool. In time, you may yet return. The young are peacocks. All shrieking and feathers. But we will yet prevail and bring forth peace, I still believe. As long as you and I hold fast. I have sinned. I do not wish to hear of it. Yeah, because he already knows. <laughs> well, she's just looking for him as a father now that he's not the hand and he didn't want to he didn't want to do it. <laughs> still. <laughs> Is Amon crying? <laughs> yeah. Aegon. Aegon. Is that what I said? Is it Amon? Why did I say that? G before I am, stupid. <laughs> she doesn't know how to handle it because her dad doesn't know how to handle her. Right, and the other son is paying people to be moms to him. Right. That's just sad. Look, he's already in there like a sneak. Well, he's handing the king now. He can be in there. Not that hard. Oh, they're about to do it. They always devolve into that. <laughs> there we go. This is getting to be like a little much, don't you think? It's like Rob Stark. Remember when Rob Stark got all distracted? Mm-hmm. Like it's not good, man. It's gonna end up costing him, man. Something's right. got to give with that. But he's on. Like, he feels like he's on the up because he just became hand of the king. Man, right. what do you think about this episode? I thought it was insane. I thought it was just a lot of moving parts. And of course, as I always say, but it just seems like, geez, what do you think? What do you think? This episode was crazy. One of my favorite episodes by far. I think this one had me on my edge, like on the edge of the seat uh, more than any episode so far in the series. And I think that the death of a child, especially a toddler, would definitely be a personality turning point in your life. Right. And he went from, they was really trying to show that Aegon was a man who genuinely wanted to rebel against the, I guess, the elitist nature of his family by being like one with the common folk. Both of the brothers seem to have that in common. I don't think it's because they're necessarily great people. I think it's just their way of rebelling because their families obviously right. have no value of common folk. You right. know? So it's just a way of rebellion. And so. in a way, they kind of, at least in Aemon's perspective, maybe not Aegon's and may, maybe also Aegon's. It seems like they speak, they, they seek solace in the like, small folk yeah yeah because because maybe they believe that like love and honor and all that stuff maybe they believe in in their family like that high up the ladder that stuff doesn't really hold meaning like it does to the common people because it's kind of in a way all they have so yeah maybe they seek that because it's something they've just never had and they yearn for it because they just need it like alice the the pure example of that was Eamon. like when he when the girl tried to kiss him he was like no 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 no, i don't want that and he just lays in her lap so he just like needs a mother figure and that that's really sad but also Allison always needed a father figure and when she finally had the when Otto finally had the opportunity to be a father for her he didn't he said I'm not even handing to the king anymore who cares I'll, like bye I don't yeah, wish to 100%. hear it he's like yeah I think I'm just gonna return to old town wherever the heck yeah that was pretty heartbreaking because in a way 
Allison's basically been a pawn her whole life. And I'm not making excuses for her. I don't like her, but you just have to understand, and I guess, in that sense. But uh, basically, war is afoot. The whole point of the episode to me was it's a PR battle at this point. Mm. Um, just the title in itself was a PR battle, Rhaenyra the Cruel. Yes. Right. I, I mean, I think if you're in the Rhaenyra camp, you just have to say, hey, actually, it was self, you know, they did it to themselves, actually. they It was a inside job. They did it to themselves. They, this king is so crazy. To interrupt my claim, he was willing to murder his own son, the heir to the throne. The whole family was willing to conspire a conspiracy to do it. They murder him in the cruelest way possible just to drive it home, just to let y'all know how terrible I am. Right. The whole time it was an inside job, a false flag. They actually did it. I've been over here. Assassins, what are you talking about? Like, I don't I don't know what you mean of assassins. Right. That's that's the narrative. They just made idea. it confusing because so they have this whole they have this whole par parade of this young kid that got beheaded. They have the head sewed on everything for everyone to see. They had this parade that it was Rhaenyra's doing, yet they still hang their brothers and sisters and sons in the streets. So the, right. the small folk is over here thinking like, and you know they might they might eventually resent the Targaryens because the Targaryens come in there and start fighting pits. They they have um and then they use them to like pay them for like you know secrets and stuff so. and i know i keep saying it but renice did kill all those people and then just rode off into consequences and the only reason i bring that up man is because in the game of thrones universe you don't get to do that right inconsequentially uh, and so that's the only reason i bring well, it up and it they did bring like, it up this episode they're like yeah they did like kind of do a jab at her they're like oh, we didn't forget about that yeah a little jab um definitely it, it kind of puts them in the category of like politicians and stuff right you know? politicians can do a lot of stuff and get away with it for sure and a week goes by, the news cycle goes by, something else crazy happens in the news cycle and then people completely forget about it. Right. And that's kind of how I'm feeling with that vibe. But essentially, man, I feel like Damon should have should have stood up right there and he should have let it be known it was his fault. And that's why I don't think Damon would be a good king because right. if everything would have went according to plan, he would have accepted all the praise. But when things didn't go right, he basically let Rhaenyra take the blame. Right. And that makes him so not trustworthy. I don't know what on, to think of his right. character, man. Yeah. Like, I, you know. Which, which Rhaenyra said she never trusted him, Viserys never trusted him, and Damon kind of deserves it, you know? He he does things to where you can't trust him. He's very shifty. Like, no matter how great of a character people might think he is, he still is sh shifty. We don't know what to get. We don't know what we're going to get from Damon. I, I think the thing about Aemon is, like, he, he chastises Kristen Cole because he was not on guard when th basically that happened, right? Where were you? Where were you? And then he turns around and makes him hand of the king because Wait, he turn, sent, you're saying Aegon though. You mean Aegon when you say that, right? Yeah. So, okay, guys. The, the reason I get it mixed up is because little brother actually looks like big brother. Right. And, and, and so it's annoying. But yeah, I'm talking about um, Aegon. Yes. Right. And then so he makes Kristen Cole hand of the king. And to me, that just felt like a little odd. I feel like Kristen Cole at this point should have been. It just shows impulsiveness, right? Well, it just goes to show that he doesn't. He's not smart. He's not a smart. Right. King. And and. You know, Otto could have stopped Kristen Cole even coming into this years ago when Rhaenyra chose him. So, like, that was a path Otto could have stopped right there. But he, you know, they let Rhaenyra have it. They let him, they let her have it. And here we go. Now he's handed the king. Well, he was trying to give her a false sense of choice. And I think it turned around and bit him in the yeah, butt all these years later. It so did. He didn't really foresee that one coming. Otto's a weird character, man. I, I've said it before. He's one of the most complex characters. Right. And I get the impulsive hate towards Otto. I get it, right? And I know in this episode, a lot of people are going to think his actions were disgusting, and, and they and they were. They were despicable, but so was war and the nature of it. And like, if you're going to be in a war, if you know, if you think that a country goes to war and plays by the rules, then you're naive. I mean, that right. just doesn't happen. So in his mind, he's doing everything he can do to try to make sure that his daughter's head does not end up decapitated from her body, uh, like his great grandson. I mean, they also, if you think about it too, it was it, just tough. It's another PR battle because. You know, they said in the episode, Rhaenyra had her son swear on like a book and they said, you can't kill each other, your family. But then it just so happens Aemon kills Jace, I mean, Luke, who was his family. So like that was a big- Which is a huge crime. That's a huge like, no-no, yeah. yeah. So uh, to get a little faith back, Otto was exploiting the death of Jaehaerys, which, you know, it's bad. Yeah, we get that it's bad. No, no one should do that. But from his side, he had to have something to have the people support them a little more because it seems like to me this people the people of westeros are going to become a factor they're going to become an issue 
And that's made apparent by killing the rat catchers. You know, Otto was pissed about it. And Otto's really the only person who understands everything. But it could be taken in two ways, though, because you could take it as, wow, someone murdered the king's son. And in return, he murdered one guilty and all these innocent or the people, you know, the people don't seem very well informed. So maybe the narrative around the people are, thank God for this king, like, they're over here killing babies and look how many people were complicit. Mm -hmm. Look, look how look like we're hiring rat catchers from God knows where, and they're coming into our city and they're murdering babies. Like we really, really need, we need to completely support our King. We need to give him all the power because he needs to protect us. Right. So therefore, no matter how crazy and radical he acts, it's for our own good. So therefore we'll suspend like, you do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? I mean, it's it all, it's come, all about the narrative. The narrative has right. everything to do with it. And, and they don't have like media in those times to really like, you know, s spice it up for both sides. So they really have to just go off optics. And and what you're saying about the common folk becoming a factor is if two parties are sitting there trying to control the narrative, well, they're obviously at war, mm -hmm. right? Kind of like the media. So the question is. Who, who are you trying to win over? They're not trying to convince each other. That's irrelevant. So they're trying to convince the common people because the common people are going to be extremely relevant. Eventually. Right. And and they seem important to me because Eamon, like, I'm not saying that was so important that Eamon went to that lady, but Eamon finding just anything in a common folk. Whereas, you know, it seemed like an episode before he was kind of going to Kristen Cole, like talking about stuff. But now he's seeing like motherly advice in them. And I think that that might be important to me at least yeah yeah i think it's gonna be important uh, yes i i genuinely it's a think whole so. character thing i mean it's a whole mindset of where you are mentally yes. like what are your motivations um definitely and that could be scary though if you think about it because also the common folk could be annoyed with the targaryens and their antics and them being so comfortable on the outside could bite one of them in the butt at some point it could be very yeah, dangerous that is very true that's a very dangerous thing to play with and um I feel like that lady Masaria, had she been involved more there, it would be like we would know more about it because, you know, when she was paying the little birds, we were getting to see like more back alley but stuff. But then they made us blind. Right. And right. so taking her out made us blind. Being nice to her by Rhaenyra ultimately. Say, like, well, well she it didn't, didn't stop. It didn't, it she, didn't, she didn't stop anything, right. but she definitely got that hunch. And right. I mean, what is she supposed to do about it? She but, thought twice about it. She went one moment you know so maybe that means well i didn't see her in the show like th they never showed that she continued to walk right. so in my mind she in the next episode she'll come busting through the door making sure everything's okay and then she'll hopefully because when they were about to just send her off like they're not going to just send her off she's right. the main character of the show they're not just going to send her off right so yeah that was very interesting and maybe it was because rhaenyra treated her with such grace right she didn't just humility. she didn't just treat her like a w you know yeah exactly and so that she might have really gained a friend there and is someone who just a, a needed ally because, another great character right. though because she has all these spies and stuff and that and money is kind of good. a motive yeah. for her yeah but I, I think she's gonna be a net win in terms right. of the battle so uh, and it might be a net win just as date for damon because damon is uncontrollable and maybe miss Arya, though she, damon doesn't really listen to her too maybe she'll have something eventually in the future for Damon's character. One thing about Damon though is like he's up and down and like I said, I, I'm gonna try not to be as consistent as I was in the beginning of Game of Thrones, but I realize I have to be a little more malleable with these characters because the writing is not always consistent, so it's hard to be, but don't get too attached to Damon as being like a hero or a good guy because I just don't know about him. Like right. he's a good dude to an extent, but I got a feeling at the end of the series a lot of people are going to look back and say, overall, I kind of think he was a bad guy. Well, the reason, the only reason I kind of get him as a bad guy in my head is just because Damon in terms of like, okay, a warrior and all that good stuff. That's, that's great. Damon's cool. He's great. He started the police force, all that it stuff. It depends on what you're fighting for, right? Right. But when it comes to being a dad, being a husband, Rhaenyra said it best. He wasn't there when she was giving birth. He was doing war things. You could tell from his daughters just the way they act with him that they don't really know him like he hasn't really been a father to them so just like the way they passed in the hall and it was awkward it was kind of much like helena and aegon in that way so right um and i got this subject to change i mean our opinion yeah changed. it's it's only episode two guys like if you're a nail damon is an amazing hammer like right. he will hammer the hell out of it you right. know what i'm saying so you know if if you need the right tool for the job, man, Damon can get it done. But in terms of like a moral character as a person, he's no Brianna Tarth. I'll put it that way. Hey, and sorry to interrupt you, but to to harp on the common folk thing one more time, 
If you guys remember from last episode, there's that guy who went up to Aegon and was like, hey, I'm a smith. I need smith money for war efforts, la, la, la. Well, that same guy was brought back, but in his house. So we got the pers- we got to see inside his house and like see what he's dealing with, which is obviously a lot of problems. Yeah. And he's he looked at his, I guess, his wife or somebody he lives with and said um, that Aegon's going to help. So I think that it's important that Aegon does help because they showed that part for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about just him wanting to help people in the beginning? No, well, him telling this guy specifically he's going to help. He said, I'm here to help. That guy had somebody in a bed struggling. So they showed his point of view in his oh, yeah, household yeah, for some about, reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. We'll so see. there's more on that, but I don't know. I'm just saying I'm I'm looking out for that. Right. Crazy episode, man. Uh, we got a new hand of the king, basically. Otto got demoted. War is basically afoot, man. I feel like at this point... He, and I guess maybe at the end of this season, season, we might get like some battles and stuff, but we're nowhere near battles yet. Right. I mean, we're still trying to collect houses and stuff, but I feel like I'm more involved. I mean, depending on what Damon, where Damon went, I don't know how close we are to battles, you know? I would he really like to think that he didn't uniform. just go. Uh, well, that's what I was saying. If you're going to go send, if you're going to go try to recruit warriors, don't send your little tiny son like they did. Right. So, you know, like send Damon in a full fledged uniform. Right. You think you have to a, recruit? Right. If if you're going to try to convince me to fight with you, I'm going to be a lot more gung ho about it if you show up in armor and a dragon. You know what I mean? Right. But he could have took that conversation with Rhaenyra two ways because Rhaenyra, at the end of this conversation, didn't know where he was going. Another common theme in this show. People will just be thinking whatever the hell they want. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Rhaenyra wasn't quite sure where Damon went, whereas you thought he went to recruit somebody whereas me i thought he went to king's landing to fix the problem i don't think damon damon is obviously obviously in this show they're not making some of these dudes out to like think very much they're making them out to be and impulsive and impulsive and i get it so there was like a big mystery in this one uh there is that guy this this has to do with the ships guys and i feel like it's important there's a big mystery because lord corliss owes a favor to somebody and I feel like that favor might might matter or something because the guy who he knows about the favor, he saw a dragon. We'll see. I, I was thinking about that. I was going to mention it. But to be honest, there's just there's just not a lot of I don't know both it. of their names. I don't really know. Alan with a Y. And that's one of them. Yeah. So I don't really know their names or what their aim is yet. I don't really feel like they're relevant yet, but they'll probably become. Right. Well, show, anyways, actually. Lord Corliss owes somebody something. So I don't know what hit that's going to take and on who, but I feel like that will matter. Yeah, it'll matter. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reactions. And we'll be back next week, man. Next uh, next Monday. We're going to watch it Sunday. We'll have these things out by Monday. So we'll see you guys next week for some more House of the Dragons. Let's go.